Hello. So it is Monday. Uh, the last vlog is out. This is the first section of the new vlog. Laptop is out because I just went and pulled the two orders that I had. And this is what I got. So this order over here is a bunch of these light blue, trans, trans light blue pieces. Uh, and none of the piece did they buy me out of. Although this one, the one by one uh, plate, they left me with one. Uh, I'm considering throwing it in and just zeroing it out for my inventory so it doesn't hog a half drawer all to itself. Uh, and this person ordered tires, wheels, uh, wheel attachments, and these, these little uh, projectiles, and cleared me out of every single one of those. So, yeah, it's like eight parts gone from my inventory. Uh, but it was easy. I just dumped off what I had. Um, they qualified for free shipping, and I don't know if that was specifically by design or if they wanted all these. I'm curious if this piece here put them over the free shipping or not, because it might be a case where they wanted this stuff and were pretty close and just ordered something else to put them over. Um, but yeah, that's going to be an interesting one to pack up. It's going to be pretty easy. Each one of these is going to get their own bag or whatever, and then we'll get them off, and it's probably going to go in a box. Uh, this stuff, this will definitely fit in a padded envelope. But yeah, that was the two orders that I had today. Pretty excited about that. Um, not in a big rush because there's no shipping today on Monday. It's President's Day here in the United States. Uh, so nothing would go out today, even if I had been up earlier to try to take care of it. But this little stuff will go out tomorrow, no problem at all. Uh, that is what I've got going on. I did get um, a package today uh, from, I think it was from the other company, not FedEx, that delivers for the Lego company sometimes. So that's a from Lego order. We'll probably open up that later on camera as well and do a little haul type section of the vlog. But that's what I've got. And then after I'm done with this, I'm going to get at least one more month done of the taxes because that'll put me at a two month because I did one last night. And then I will probably go to try to part something out because I'm going to continue to doing that sort of thing. I'm going to go one or the other. And actually, I might not part something out. I might go and start tackling probably the slopes. Uh, and that'll be a pretty big project at that point. But it needs to get more used into the system because I've got plenty, just tons of, like looking here, I don't know if you can see it, but there is one drawer right there, that first large one, that has something in it. And there's a few other parts at the very tops in some of the drawers, but that wall is almost completely empty. Uh, so we need to start getting parts on the used walls because the new wall is pretty full. Uh, and then I also can start using these drawers over here. I had actually forgotten about it, but all those have parts in them as well, uh, or as have ability to have parts in them. I think there is parts in the very top one. I'm not 100% sure. It might actually just be um, casters for those units. So I need to get over there and consider putting some parts in those as well, because I've got labels for them all. So I might just as well start using them. Anyway, that is all I've got for right now. We'll have some sort of an update later on. Uh, last I checked, it was like 838 subscribers. It's just amazing. And later tonight or tomorrow, I will pick the winner for the contest. Uh, but by the time you see this, it's already going to be done. So there you go. As always, thank you very much. Hello. So we got the two packages finished up. And this is the small one with just the uh, trans light blue pieces in it. And this is a larger one that had the wheels and tires and whatnot. Uh, this one I was thinking might be something I could look into the cubic shipping, but I found a box that it really all fit perfectly in, and it was just the cubic shipping wasn't going to be better than this, and I was able to get it in the flat rate padded envelope. So we went with that route. And then the other thing is this is the box that I got from Lego. I just basically lazily turned it upside down so I don't have to blot out the address, but we're going to open this up and see what we have in here. Uh, a little a little different because normally I do these with uh, the neck mount on so I'm not doing that at this point I have it the handheld so it's definitely a little harder to do but this harkens back in some of the earliest videos I did where that's how I opened stuff because I did not have the neck mount yet which I really like having all right so we got three copies of the Aston Martin DB5 76911 uh, because this is something that is going to be on my part out list and then 
the promo, which now these aren't enough to get the promo, but I had ordered other things as well that are back ordered. And so they will ship separately, but we got another one of those. And yeah, just some paper in there otherwise. Um, so that's all I have for this section. I did get another month done for my taxes. So we're up through June. So we're halfway done, which is great. Uh, and now I'm going to look at probably diving into some of those used pieces and doing at least a, a first sort on those, which I guess is technically a B sort because they've already been sorted to get the slopes and other pieces out. So when I get the slopes, it's probably a B sort for the slopes. But since I've not done it before, I'm going to play around with how I want to divide them out. We'll see how that goes. In any case, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you in the next section. Hello. So we are back again, and yep, I did it. I started sorting through all the slopes. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of different subcategories. I wasn't really sure how to divide it out, but this is kind of how I've been doing it. Um, these are the underslopes, so this type of piece, and it's for any shape and size of those. Uh, these are, that's in the wrong place, uh, these are four long, uh, one brick high. These are three long, one brick high. These are two long, one brick high. Now these are two bricks high, three bricks high, and larger. Over here, this is stuff that has more than one direction, which is where this piece goes, because it's kind of a wedgy kind of piece, but it's not a plate. Uh, so basically all these have a slope in more than one direction. Um, these are these larger underside slopes. They, go, they have got an underside on both, or an uh, upper side on both in any size. Uh, I'm also, this actually should probably go over here with the vehicle parts. I've got a, um, an underside, kind of like a, oh, an anti-canopy. So I've got that in there. Uh, this is stuff that really probably is, goes to a different category. i got some stickered parts in here. There's a swivel. Just a lot of these are car parts that at one point when I was sorting, I might have thought, oh, this goes in with slopes and it probably really just goes with car parts. Uh, this one, I believe, is a minifigure part. So that's kind of cool, kind of very shiny there. Um, this is one non-Lego part I found, a couple of broken parts I found. Uh, these are slopes, but they're curves. Um, or, or, they're, they're not straight, there's, there's a curve to it. And that's also inclusive of underside versions of these too. So I know, they're, yeah, like here's one here. So this is the exception where it doesn't go into the under, it goes over here because it's got that curve. And then these are pieces that I've decided that are going to go with the snot pieces because there's studs only on one side, but then there's a bottom there. So it's still kind of studs not on top. So it's kind of like here's a slope with studs on the back or on the one side. So that's how I decided to put those. And those are the categories. So, you know, I've been kind of digging through this and the whole thing was probably just about this tall. And I've just kind of been kind of going into this one corner. Uh, I fully expect that a couple of these totes will completely fill up and need a second tote. Some of these totes, I'll probably never get a second tote for them. Uh, these fours and the more than one direction and the large ones probably never will get another another shoebox for these out of this tote. But yeah, that's what I'm working on. And uh, I'm going to call it for the night. And I'm going to head upstairs and relax a little bit. And uh, we will see you with another update come tomorrow. Thank you very much. Hello again. It is Tuesday. Uh, I have gotten an order that I have to pick, uh, and I've been to the Lego store today and a thrift store and picked some stuff up. Um, I'm not going to show the stuff that I bought at the Lego store because basically all I did is buy three copies of the Queer Eye set to end up parting out. But by doing so, I managed to get the new promo, which is this here, the 40586 moving truck. That's a really cool box. I like it a lot. Uh, and the coloring is really cool too. So that's it's I'm very pleased with this promo um, Then at a thrift store right near there. I picked up two Lego sets that are Not uh, not sealed. They've been opened. Uh, I have not opened them to check, but I got this one the Shellub's attacks and This one Which is uh, geez what they don't even put the title on oh the chamber of winged kings keys oh boy um so this is uh you know older harry potter set i need to open them both and see what we have inside and i will do that and i'll come back later with an update about what i found inside but i also have that order to pick so 
I got a few things to do, and then of course I want to get back to sorting these slopes. In any case, so this is just a little update, and we'll get more later. Thank you. Hello. So, the small order that I had, I didn't realize it was particularly small, is right here. It was only 18 pieces, uh, six heads, six torsos, and a, um, a visor for like a welder. Uh, and apparently the visor only came in one set, and it was one that I parted out. So they bought all six that I had. There you go right there. Um, and I've started to look at the sets that I bought. So far, I've just opened the Lord of the Rings Shell of Attacks. Um, and that's this stuff here. And yeah, it's, well, got a little bit of a hair stuck there through some of the pieces. But um, it looks like this is the webbing for the spider. And it looks like it's still sealed inside this box. So that's kind of cool. Uh, one of the minifigures, the legs were on backwards, and both of their capes were, oh, they're a little odd. They're stiff capes, so they kind of like don't necessarily uh, sit correctly unless you're careful with it. But it, I'm going to guess it's probably complete. I mean, it's got the three minifigures, that's the big thing, and then of course the uh, webbing for the spider seemingly coming in uh, new. I thought that was pretty cool. So, we're going to pause the video and then we'll come back and we'll look at having opened up the Harry Potter set. Thank you. All right, and here we are right back after looking at the other set. I do want to point out, uh, I did get the instructions to that set, but they were kind of folded and creased and whatnot. So I've got them under this box to try to help flatten them out. Uh, and then the other set, this Harry Potter set, the uh, Chamber of the Winged Keys, uh, 4704, is not complete. Uh, matter of fact, I don't have either of the other two, either of the two character figures in the set. Uh, although I did get a couple of what looks like Ninjago figures and an Octan figure, plus another head here. Uh, yeah, uh, but there's also some non-Lego in here. Uh, this flag, I am pretty sure, is not Lego. Uh, but uh, I did get this which is in the set right here. You can kind of see it right there. And it's got this strange silver crown, which is a separate piece. Uh, I find it interesting too that they did not use a plain white minifigure head for that, which they could have done because, well, they had the mold, the minifigure head has been used uh, and they've used it in monochrome colors, probably even white in other places, but maybe not at this point. They may not have been thinking of it. So they just used the uh, one by one round brick. But yeah, so that is in there. Um, but, and there's some other pieces that were kind of in interest. There's uh, at least one part that seems to have one of the crests for one of the houses on it. I'm not terribly familiar with the Harry Potter stuff. Uh, so I couldn't tell you what it was specifically. But yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff in there. So, uh, and there was no instructions. The other thing I'll point out is this is, it's an older box style that they don't make anymore. And there is, there was no tape. And there's no thumb tabs. You know, basically, they just pried the, the back lid open along the three sides. And the box itself is in really nice shape. I could probably sell the box. Um, and so, yeah, that is what I got from Goodwill. Uh, each of those is only $7.99. So, you know, I don't think I did terribly bad on that. Uh, but, yeah, that is what I did today. And I've got that package ready to go out. And I'm going to continue sorting slopes. Such a wonderful task there. In any case, thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to have to do some other work because I need to pick the winner of the contest. By the time you see this, this will already have been done, but I need to do that today. In any case, thank you. Hello. Tuesday night. Uh, it's not midnight yet, I'm, but I'm going to break. And as you can see, I've been just kind of diving into this one corner of this tote. It's kind of the one corner is down and the rest is still up pretty high. Uh, every once in a while it shifts down and some falls in, but I'm still sorting these. Uh, yeah, we got three of them that are getting pretty close to full. These that are two on the slope, two long, uh, all the underslopes, and then all the smooth ones, or rather not smooth, the um, uh, curved ones, not the straight. Uh, I've added another category, some pieces that maybe should go in here, but I've also... I went and checked, and I actually, now, the way I'm sorting stuff is slopes go in two categories, studs and studless. Um, 
So some of the pieces might change where they're going. Uh, like this, these here, there's definitely some that are studless. Um, and then there's some that have studs. So yeah, not sure how that's gonna wash out. Uh, but yeah, we found some more stuff with some stickers and different things like that. So, but we are moving along. Progress is progress. And uh, I'm going to go break now. I'm going to relax. And we'll be some more updates tomorrow on Wednesday. Thank you. Hello. So here we are in the entryway area of the basement. It's not an area that I'm in as often. And uh, the reason for that is because I'm going to be taking these three Lego sets with me as I head out. And I'm going to trade them for some other Lego sets. So let's see what we can find that we get for these sets in the next section of the vlog. Thank you. Well, here I am again in the entry area. And for the vlog, we're going to look at what I got in trade. Now, what did I trade to get this stuff? Uh, a copy of Ninjago City, a copy of Ninjago City Docks, and a copy of, I believe it was the Ice Tank from the Ninjago movie. So... Uh, and so I got down here the, well, it's hard to tell, but this is the Razor Crest UCS set. And this one here, you can tell, it's the Millennium Falcon UCS set. And then the contents of this bag as well. And we're going to put this down and we'll look at this stuff. Copy of the, the Blacktron Cruiser. As I drop one into the bag. A copy of the Forest Hideout. A copy of the Lars Family Homestead Kitchen. And a copy of Eiffel's Apartment. Uh, I also have gotten this set, another one of the tributes to the Lego house, and that will be in trade when I track down where my Ninjago movie minifigs are. Uh, we'll trade for I think it was five we said of those. So I just have to find them. I know I had them somewhere. And at that point, we'll let him pick five of them that he doesn't have. And that'll be the trade. So yeah, I did pretty well, I'd say. And we will just add this to the quantity of stuff that we'll be parting out eventually. Uh, one of the Millennium Falcons will get built eventually, but the other ones will get parted out. But they're all buried in one of the bedrooms. So now that these are down here, I have to find a home for them down here, but that is okay. Um, we met at the Lego store, and so while I was there, I made another purchase. I bought three more of the Queer Eye sets, and I believe that brings my count to 30, and I think I'm probably going to stop there, but I'm going to gather them all together to make sure that my count was correct, and that'll probably be a part out that I'll do at some point soonish. Uh, and so, yeah, that is what I'm kind of looking forward to there. If you've got any questions at all, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you very much. Uh, last I checked, we dropped back down to 839 subscribers. It's going to go up and down a bit. My guess is, and I could be wrong, but somebody who didn't win the contest unsubscribed, and, you know, maybe they'll be back for 1,000. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, so we've got about 160 or so subscribers until we get to that 1,000 giveaway. That'll be fun. And then, uh, yeah, so I've got some other stuff going on, some stuff that's brewing. But this was the, I kind of teased this last week because we kind of, Settled on things last week, but we weren't going to meet up until Wednesday. And so, yeah, we uh, we made the trade, and I'm happy with that. As always, thank you very much. Hello. So we are on Thursday, and uh, no sorting has really occurred. However, I did have a fairly large order last night that came in. Well, it came in earlier today. I just took care of it last night, so a couple of friends had come over, and we had dinner. Um, but uh, overnight... I had another order come in, uh, it was actually came in just around the time I was going to bed. So I'm like, nope, we're just going to bed. And then uh, when I woke up, we had no power. Uh, got the, some snow and ice out there has come down. Uh, so some power went out and actually I lost the internet. Of course, without power, you're kind of without internet anyway. And uh, so yeah, a few minutes ago, the power came back on. And I'm hoping the internet is fully back up. We'll see in a couple of minutes because I'm going to go in and try to pick that order quickly. So that if I do lose power again or something like that, I can still make do with having the order picked. But that is the update for the time being. We'll come back with some more later. Thank you. Hello. So we're in the entry area to the basement. 
And the reason we're here is because, well, I brought some stuff down and I put it here. So these are the Queer Eye sets that I have. There are 30 of them there. And uh, I'm probably done buying them. Uh, I've been buying them on sale. I've uh, been getting gift with purchase on that. And uh, I think I'm done. Uh, 30, I think, is the number I'm going to end up parting out. And I think probably before I actually part it out, I'm probably going to open them up and divide the bags up just so that it stores smaller than this because this is quite a little cube of uh, boxes here. But yeah, that is uh, the next project I have going up uh, after the slopes, I believe. Um, now, the other thing that was interesting is in collecting these, I ran into some other stuff, and that's going to be over here. Uh, it was in the office area, and it's funny because I thought I had it, and I couldn't find it, and I just kind of let it go out of my head. So I have three more of each of these advent calendars, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Star Wars, and the Friends. Uh, both the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Star Wars I've parted out already. As a matter of fact, I've parted out the Guardians of the Galaxy one twice. Uh, the Star Wars one I parted out once. And I haven't done the Friends yet, and I think I have another one of those upstairs in a different place. I have to check that. Uh, I also found six more copies of the Eternals Aerial Assault, which I just parted out. So we're going to have to deal with all these. Now the Friends one is kind of an easy one. It was just in the same large box as the other six uh, Advents. So I'll have to get those at some point and uh, uh, get those together and part those out. But then these I have to part out separately again. I really don't like parting the same thing out twice, especially relatively close, but it'll save some space because they're kind of big bulky sets. Uh, so yeah, that is the situation as far as that goes. And so now I'm just going to uh, jump into getting some more uh, of the slopes sorted, which are still over here in mid uh, sort. Uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna go with this. I also, I need to get back to doing some of the taxes, the months, I still am halfway through the year here. You can see there's six trays on the left and six trays on the right um and i may do uh some of that uh, tomorrow and then uh, go back to sorting more slopes because i it's going to take me probably a while to sort through all these slopes still and that's just the initial sort you know breaking them down by different types beyond just slopes so that is what i'm up to at the moment as always if you've got any questions or comments please leave them down below uh, the last time I checked, it was like 845 subscribers, so we're climbing up. I appreciate that. Uh, I released a short, which has already been included in the vlog. So if you're seeing this, you've already seen the content that was teased in the short. The short did really well, so I was very appreciative of that. So thank you for everybody who watched that, and uh, thank you again. Hello. So we've gotten both orders out, and I've been sorting more slopes. Quite a big dent has occurred in this tub. Still a lot to go. Uh, I've actually pulled now a total of three full shoe boxes out and replaced them with uh, this one here, that one back there, and this one here. This one here is probably the most prevalent. It's just the uh, whatever width slope at that uh, the two length. Uh, and I actually also included another piece in here uh, because it fits the same angle and that's this one which is kind of like a one by two plate with a cheese wedge on it but it's the same angle as these pieces so that's what I kind of decided to, was what's going on in that one um, it's also only one brick high and these are the two brick high and these are the three brick high that also change the angles these are the three brick or three stud long, however wide. These ones are the four stud long, however wide, and so on and so forth. They got all these categories. The non right category is increasing. Uh, more stickered parts, more just completely wrong parts. I got this one in there, that's just wrong. I got this one here, that's just wrong. Um, lots of these, uh, the canopy pieces, which at some point in my sorting started going to vehicle parts, and so that's where they should go. Uh, these, like, Partial arches, I think if I've decided going with a modified brick, so they haven't been moved to there. I mean, clearly just some engine parts just going in the wrong place. That could be tossing it in the wrong place and it's just winding up in the wrong one, even if I had it right. Um, and of course, there's stickered parts in here, which normally would get sorted, but once I realize there's a sticker, it goes into a different spot. 
Uh, so there's that. Uh, and so yeah, we're getting our way through that. <clears throat> I don't know exactly how long that's going to take. I haven't done anything more with the the sets. I've got the Eternals one still up there. And I stacked up the uh, advent calendars over here. You can just kind of see them over there. Um, I'm just not sure when I'm going to deal with those. But I think tomorrow when I start back up, I'm going to move these totes uh, to make room for the next month of receipts and go through at least one or two months more of receipts tomorrow. Because I need to keep working on that as well. And I realize that going back and forth is good for me. It keeps me from getting burned out on any one thing. But this particular task is going to take me a while. So I don't want to necessarily finish the task before I go back to the taxes. That is all I have for today. Uh, Friday is tomorrow. Uh, it's not even all that late today on Thursday. But I'm going to go up and relax. Uh, and then uh, I'll come back and do some stuff tomorrow. Perhaps I'll even have another order. You never know. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. So the table is clear at the moment. Uh, because I cleared off all the containers they're over here on this cart um, to work on more receipts as you can see now this pile the done pile is now larger than the not done pile I've only got four months left to go of the regular receipts and I still have like the oversized ones and I have to go online to pick up receipts for places online that didn't send a packing slip or match a packing slip that doesn't have an amount on it that sort of thing so I got a lot of work left to do but I'm getting there more than halfway done with that part and so I'm happy about that um, and so, yeah, I'm probably going to go back into sorting some more of the slopes. I did manage to move this to the floor without disturbing the hole I'd created in it all that much. It's kind of funny. Um, so I'll reset this up and do some more sorting of parts. I'm probably going to get some food first here because it's, uh, it's evening on, uh, Friday. And that is about it. Uh, I've got, uh, nothing big planned for the rest of the night. So we'll just do some slopes and probably do some relaxing as well. Uh, I have, uh, heard back from the winner of the contest, hoping their set will arrive soon, and hopefully they will let us know when they receive that. And, uh, yeah, that is about all I've got going, so thank you very much as always, and last time I checked, which admittedly was a couple of minutes ago, we were like 848 subscribers, so I was quite, quite surprised at that. So, as always, thank you very much. Hello again. So it's later on Friday night. And I'm not quite done with these slopes, but it's getting really close. Uh, I figure it's going to be another hour or so to go through all those, maybe a little bit longer. I've got a couple of these that are getting close to or already needing to get closed up. So I've got to do that, but I'm going to call it for tonight. And I'm going to get some rest. And then tomorrow I'll come back down here and get some more work done. Uh, I do have my gaming tomorrow night, being Saturday, so I'm looking forward to that. And I have a couple of people coming over before that for a little while. So, yeah, we'll still get some time to work on some stuff in here. And I'm probably, I'm considering cutting more dividers while I game. I mean, we'll see. I have a good number of them already. But I generally have been going through about the top level every time I go and use the dividers. So, it might be time to get some more cut up just so I have a whole bunch ready when I need them. But that is all I've got for tonight. And uh, as always, thank you very much. Questions and comments down below. Hello. It is Sunday right now. Uh, I did not do hardly anything down here yesterday. Uh, I came down and gamed and I uh, had a couple of friends over and to kind of give them a tour of the stuff here because they hadn't been here. Um, but yeah, so I need to jump back into sorting these slopes and you can see pretty much the same situation here. We're almost done. Hopefully just a couple hours more worth of sorting work. At that point, then I can start taking each of the categories and subsorting them. Some of them will be, excuse me, some of them will be easier than others. Like this one back here, I believe is just one piece. Uh, so that'll be just a color sort and then quality check and upload and that sort of thing. Um, other ones will take a more time because like with the slopes that are curved there's many many more pieces there uh, but yeah that is what i'm up to at this point uh, i've had no orders recently so i have no, nothing to worry about as far as that goes that could change though uh, and uh, yeah and so i wanted to also show this i got a birthday card from somebody out there uh, they sent it to the post office box uh, they probably remembered the contest last year where i had a a thing to send me something for my birthday during March. I'm not doing that this year, but uh, my birthday is uh, Wednesday, and so 
yeah, I'll probably do something on Wednesday kind of special for me. I'm not 100% sure what. It might be a couple of different things. But that is uh, what has been going on for me recently. And I'll probably come back once I finish sorting these slopes. I may also try to get to some more receipts today because you can see I've got four months left, eight months done. So we're getting pretty close to those. And then, of course, I just need to dive into the larger format receipts over there and then print up some stuff that is going to be needed to print. Like the Lego ones, they're just uh, packing slips. They don't give prices. So in order for me to completely fill out my spreadsheet, I've got to pull the original um, receipt that I get emailed to me. So yeah, lots of stuff still left to do. In any case, as always, thank you very much. Hello again. It is Sunday, late afternoon, early evening. I finished the sort. I did not take really good pay attention to how long it took me. It was probably less than an hour. Um, but I did have at least one more package of the two long slopes. They ended up over here, so I've got two full shoe boxes down there. That plus you know, another third of one there, so... Uh, this one is pretty much full, but I didn't really think I had to move it because then I'd only put a couple of them in there. So, and then there, for that one, I think that might be the only one. We've got an unders here, and this one is the one that's curved, uh, which goes along with that curved one back there. So this is the only one that I had that's three long for the slope. This is the four long for the slope, so that's not even really a third of a shoebox. There's not many of those. So the unders have almost two full. And then these are the two high, the three high, the really large. Uh, these have more than one angle in them. Um, so yeah, that's it's kind of a different category. These are these large ones that have two sides that go up uh, in all sorts of different shapes of those, along with some of these. And I did put these in here too. These, I only had a couple of these. They probably shouldn't go in here, along with this one. This probably needs to go over here. I'm gonna move those now. Um, slopes, as I mentioned, this is the, the one piece that I'm going to term as a snot piece from in here. Uh, I still did find a couple of broken ones, some more non-Lego. This is uh, another category I think it's going to end up being going to is this is stuff that's smaller without uh, studs. So I have to decide exactly how I'm doing that. And then this one, I forgot to take these two apart. I can do that in a sec. But that is what I've got so far. Um, and uh, so we're going to start working on getting some of this into some brick store files. Uh, probably going to start with some of the easy stuff, like probably the large ones and then the snot ones. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm going to go for next. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. The last time I checked, 850 subscribers. I'm kind of blown away that the last 50 has happened in like two weeks. Uh, so thank you so much for all of that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to move forward and keep seeing what we can do. Thank you. Hello again. Still Sunday night, uh, about an hour before midnight or so. And uh, I've put away a couple of smaller categories from the stuff I've already sorted. Uh, some wedges and slopes that had multiple uh, sloping edges. Uh, they were kind of odd. And then the first one I did was the, the one that I'm calling the snot piece, which has got the studs off on the side of the way the slope would be. It's just kind of an odd piece. Uh, so I got those two categories, subcategories put away. Not sure which one I'm going to work on next, uh, but this is going to be the last video uh, before I upload. So we've just got these shoe boxes down here and these here plus the one in the back there. Um, this is my reject pile currently. Uh, so this was that snottish like piece that I'm calling a snot piece because the way it you would put it down like that because that's where the anti studs are and so your studs are on the side so in any case and this one I'm not really sure what happened to this piece I tried rubbing it off and I just couldn't get these markings off uh, I even checked to make sure it wasn't some strange printed piece but it's not so there you go um, but yeah that's my reject pile it's not too terribly bad yet I'm sure it'll get much worse and uh, from there on in, and I, oh, I've also got some of these other categories back here. Some of these are categories that I haven't dealt with yet. Some are the ones I have dealt with already. And we'll just slowly integrate those back in when I start working on them. Obviously, the biggest one is this one, which is like vehicle parts and windscreens and that sort of thing. All these different versions of these engine pieces that they have. Uh, there's probably four different ones like this. Uh, plus some other odd things like this. And we'll get all that stuff taken care of eventually. Uh, modified brick, 
uh, printed or stickered parts. Uh, these are modified plate uh, minifigure type stuff. These are categories I've already put away, so I could easily just add those into what I already have. Uh, I believe these are more official wedges, uh, one by one rounds. And then these are small, flat, sloped pieces like cheese wedges, uh, double cheese wedges, and then these other things here. And I haven't dealt with those yet. So that is it. Oh, and then I've got these, which probably are going to end up in with this stuff here. I should probably look through these here. Uh, just different pieces that I never really had a lot of when I was sorting that huge tub. In any case, um, that is all I have for the moment. Uh, still sitting at 850 subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, going forward, uh, we'll see what more new stuff I can come up with to put up. As always, thank you very much.